Um, look, I, I, I think all the pieces are in place. Um, I mean, the, the division is wide open, certainly. Um, but at the same time, I, I, I think the Saints have always – we've built a level of expectation that goes beyond just, you know, taking care of our division, you know. And um, uh, I'd say, you know, everybody's probably been pretty disappointed with the last two years. And, and you know, we've, we've suffered through a lot, injuries and such. Um, but I think coming into this year, you know, the excitement around bringing in Derek Carr, look, I think he's a great fit for our system. Um, I've always respected uh, him as a player, um, felt like he was in a really tough situation with the Raiders, probably got a lot of the blame when he did not deserve it. Um, so I think it's a fresh start for him. I think it's a great fit for him. Um, and I, I think the city will embrace him as well. Um, I think from a skill position perspective on offense, um, I, I'd say we're pretty loaded. Um, and I think up front, we're really, really good with the offensive line. So, you know, you always start there, your ability to control the line of scrimmage. Um, but we got weapons. You know, we got weapons. We got a guy to distribute it. Um, so that, that should be fun to watch come together. Um, defensively, I'd say that was the part where, you know, you, you lose a couple interior linemen in free agency. You lose an edge rusher. Um, it looks like we, we made efforts to, to try to shore that up, you know, through free agency to bring some guys in. And obviously, first round pick, you know, we, we, we draft a, a, a D lineman. So um, when you think about that, I, I think we're, we're pretty solid at the linebacker position and in the secondary. But uh, again, that's just, you know, I, I started to think about it. If I was, if I was the head coach, uh, if I was, you know, DA, you know, going into this off season and you'll remember this Lance, just, you know, from, from some of our eras, right. Uh, with the saints was, man, I, I felt like, I felt like the, the best seasons we had um, were a result of highly, highly competitive off seasons. Um, and I know the off season has changed quite a bit, you know, in regards to how much time you're allowed to spend at the facility doing various things and, you know, what you're accomplishing in the OTAs and, and that kind of thing. But man, once you get to training camp, um, like to me, that's all out war on the other side of the ball. Right. And especially when I think to nine, 10 and 11, 09, 2010 and 2011, um, like I approached every day trying to destroy our defense, you know, and, and I think that they took the same approach, right? That was Vilma and Fujita and, you know, Malcolm and Roman and all the guys on the other side of the ball that like they had the same mentality towards us. Right. And so right. it was really like you were getting ready for a playoff game every day in practice. And so by the time we got to the season, I felt like, well, we're not going to face anything in the season that would be better than what we've been facing every day in training camp, you know? And I think that's just a mentality, you know? And that's, that's, that, that, that's really just you flipping the switch and saying like, I, I'm approaching this each and every day is, you know, iron sharpens iron, but like, I'm trying to kick your ass. Like every day I'm trying to win. Right. And in the process, you're going to make each other a heck of a lot better. And by the time you get to the season, look, you're going to be tired of beating up on each other, but you're also going to be ready. Not only are you going to be ready, you're going to really get a glimpse of what, what you can be as a team.